about running. Coach, we'll start with open comments about the game and open up questions. Uh, tough loss, you know, for it to be homecoming, so many fans in town, uh, you know, we, we got to be better than we was today. Um, shoot, if you look at it statistically, I mean, we outgained them in every statistic, statistical category, but, you know, in the end, we just didn't give ourselves enough time, you know, in order to win the football game. Uh, the, the turnover was really was a thorn in our side. I thought defensively we pretty, played pretty good. Uh, offensively, we needed to extend a few more drives early on to try to keep the field position. But hey, hats off to that team. At, uh, Alabama State came out, and you know they just you know uh, played physical and found a way to win the football game. Coach, a lot of their scores in the game came on really short, shorter field position. Yeah. Um, is Matt pretty? You know, is he healthy? Uh, I mean, he gave us all he had. You know, he gave us all he had. He was in some pain today. Um, but he kept fighting, you know, the, the, just like the rest of the team, they kept fighting. But uh, he gave us all he had and, um, you know, really tried to just push through because he knew we didn't, you know, really have anybody else to go out there and do it. But, you know, he'll continue with treatment and try to get better. Coach, the moment that stands out to me is kind of that four-minute period early in the third quarter where Alabama State scored two touchdowns. What, what did you kind of see from your team in that period of time? Actually, one more time. That period of time, just four minutes, where uh, they scored two touchdowns, mm -hmm. kind of seemed to change the game right there early. It's like, Matt, what did you see? Yeah, I mean, you know what I'm saying? Like, turnovers was killing us, too. You know, we had an opportunity to, you know, uh, move the ball up and down the field, but hats off to them. You know, they played from a short field. Like you said, the field position was in their favor for most of the night. But um, just hats off to them. You know, they offensively went out there and executed when they need to and, uh, you know, was able to generate points. No, I don't know right now. You know, I, we'll get in here tomorrow. I'll look at that, take a look at the injury report and see where he at once he goes to the doctors. Coach, for you and also Jason, if you don't mind, uh, just kind of wondering how, what you see in that, that last drive. You guys seem to have a lot of momentum there, mm -hmm. obviously, until the very last play. Yeah, I, I mean, you know, they did a good job. Jason did a good job of getting us up and down the field. Some receivers made the plays. Diz, uh, you know, we checked it down to the back, and he did a great job of understanding the situation of the game. Uh, getting it out of bounds, but that's all you could ask for. Give give yourself an opportunity in the end to uh, you know potentially win the game. If we get that two point conversion, I mean, we go out there kick a field goal, maybe tie it. We still out there playing right now. So, but very pleased they kept fighting. You know, and gave us a chance at the end. It came down to that final play. Just for any three of you, just see looking offense last week, this week it just looked a lot less comfortable this week. Um, did you just anyone want to see, tell me what you think? I attribute to that whether it was their defense or your play. Talk a little bit loud. Yeah, sorry about that. So it just the offense as a whole just looked a little bit less comfortable this week than a week ago. Can you all speak to just what you saw there and kind of the reasons for that? I mean, you got to look at where um, that's a good defensive football team we played tonight. You know, uh, Alabama State has been doing that all year, playing solid defense. They got some great players over there, a lot of length, the physical group. You know, we knew points would be hard to come by, and we had to take advantage when we got those points. You know, that's why I say that I think the field position uh, game tonight was, uh, you know, a thorn in our side. But it is what it is. You got to tilt their hats to that group, though. They played good defense today. And Jason, would you say that's kind of I, I saw too? Just as the defense, uh, the South State team just really made it difficult for y'all today. Oh <clears throat> uh, yeah, you know they have a solid group over there. But uh, you know there was a lot of things that we did on our end that hurt us. You know whether it was. Uh, that one third down in the first quarter, me missing Rico, that can keep a drive extended. Uh, you know, turnovers and penalties are just just little things like that, and that's just those are just things that we have to keep harboring on, and we have to we have to get better at. Yeah, Jason, it does make you don't mind. It's just uh, that last drive, also like it looked like you guys were moving a lot. What did you see as you guys kind of were getting to the end there? Well, you know, they were just giving us their base coverage, and we were just going out there. And we had a lot of tempo, and once we got them in tempo, we were good. And, uh, you know, we just we just stuck to what we what we're very comfortable with is offense and we were able to find completions and move the ball to the Yeah just to piggyback um, off what he said, sticking to you know what we went over in practice all week, uh, reading your keys, staying disciplined and uh, just trusting the play that was called. Obviously you stepped in uh, in, a, in a big way uh, there, especially when, when Irv was out. Uh, Desmond what what do you feel like was working well for you? Uh, both in the receiving game and of course the rushing game. Well you hate to come in um, you know, off of an injury, uh, you know, we, we were hoping for him to come back, uh, bounce back strong. But, uh, you know, just sticking to, you know, uh, our running back coach, the discipline uh, that he puts into us, 
and make sure we follow our keys. And you know, he coaches everyone the same, gives everyone the same key principles. And if we follow those principles, anyone out there could be successful, especially in this offense. So if you do those things, you know, you're gonna be uh, you're gonna be successful. Coach, how do you put this this loss in perspective on the entire season, knowing that you still have you know obviously multiple games to still play, but where does where does this loss from a perspective? Where does this? I mean, it's tough. It's tough. It's homecoming. You know, a lot of family in town, a lot of my family in town, these players' family, a lot of uh, alumni here. And, you know, they wanted us to see, be successful today. But, uh, you know, tomorrow's Sunday. So we got to get start getting ready for next week. Uh, put this one behind us, you know. Uh, take a look at the injury report and start game planning for next week, though. Uh, but it, it is. It's a tough loss. Um, you know, this, this team was motivated to play us with us going over there last year, beating them, you know, for their homecoming. And they came out and, you know, played with great energy for four quarters. But uh, I'm, to sit here and say it's not a tough loss, yes, it is. But, uh, you know, as the head coach, I got to get this team ready to play, you know, put this one behind us and get us going for next week. Coach, what's your, uh, what's your philosophy, you know, through your career whenever a team goes through a big loss like this, just trying to keep them from letting it spiral out of control and getting back refocused for the rest of the season? Well, you don't even think about spiral out of control. You know, that, that's what football is all about. You know, you got your ups and downs. You're going to face some adversity. Um, you know, just got to take it, put it behind us. Um, I expect these guys to come in to work tomorrow and, uh, you know, put in the work tomorrow. Uh, but, you know, uh, I just got to, as the leader of this group, you know, I got to be positive, you know, and um, keep this group together and get ready for next week. All right. No more questions. Thanks, guys. All right.